Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages who have come here today to see us all speak, I want to propose to you a question. On a day-to-day -day basis, how do we influence others? How do others influence us? What bad or good habits do we take to school with us? And what bad or good habits do we take home with us from school or even out into the general world? I want to introduce to you briefly a psychological study, Bandura, Ross and Ross. It was shown that when an adult who would violently abuse just a toy doll, children who watched would then imitate this violent behavior. The message I'm trying to give to you by telling you this is that don't show people negative behavior, don't spread negative behavior, so that we can eliminate it. Now, I want to take you to just maybe Holloway Road. You're walking along one day, you bump into a stranger. This stranger's not in a particularly good mood today. He's had a bad day, a very bad day. He's furious. And you've just accidentally knocked into him. You say, oh, no, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm so My fault. But he's, he's not having it. He's angry. He says, what? <laughs> what did you just do? I say, no, 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 I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to. Now, at this point, you have two options. I'm sweating. You have two options. You can either continue down this route, this negative route that he's now open to you, where you can either verbally or physically abuse him, or try, or, <laughs> or you could decide to choose the less negative route, where you, you can either continue to apologize, and if the situation continues to escalate, then that's a sign you need to disengage. You don't want to start fighting. You don't want to start all this negativity. It's like a virus. Not a normal virus, not like recently the coronavirus. <laughs> this is a metaphorical virus. Every word that this man then says to you from then on, every action, it's drip, drip, dripping with the amalgamate of all his hate, all his self-loathing, general loathing, and disregard for other people. And when he says those words to you, when he projects them to you, they then enter your ear as, the, as this new virus. That you have the cure in your head. You have to choose to use it, to disengage. Ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, boys and girls who have come to see us today, I propose to you a question. How do we influence others? How do others influence you? What good or bad habits do we take to school? And what good or bad habits do we take home and out into the general world? Thank you.